What's up, guys? My name is Mad Squash 924, and my time is here in this episode of Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree, episode 5. Um, we're going down this way. I don't know where we're gonna go this way, but on the last episode, we fought the dancing dragon, and on this episode, we are killing the poor god people. And we also are kind of discovering, and we discovered last episode too, kind of how the dark people are kind of getting created, and it's definitely not willing. So that's really bad. And we've seen what the jar people, the living jar people, look like when they are not fully a jar person. And if you guys didn't see it, I definitely suggest taking a look at the last episode. If you don't care about that, um, they turn into a slurry. A slurry tumor disgusting mess. We can't go down that way. I want to check out the rest of this area first. Like that. That's what they become. It's disgusting. Wow. Horrible way to go. Oh, that's a trap. Wow. You can jump that ledge? Cool. That doesn't make sense. Mm. Early, early, early. No, no, no. Also, in the last episode, we uh, used some of our buff shard things at the site of grace. So we do more damage. I don't know if that is a permanent buff when we're here in the DLC or not. We've yet to die after using them still. So, maybe... Wow, you just kind of jumped to your death. That's unfortunate. Boss ahead, but first turn back. Yeah, that is a boss. Okay. So I'll listen. We'll turn back. We'll go this way. There's something this way. Is this like a shortcut to the Sight of Grace? What is that over there? Phew, almost didn't make that. I think these are shortcuts, in case we screw up. I don't recognize it yet if it is a shortcut. I guess we'll go in here until I recognize the area. Time for something incredible. Like what, these things? They're anything but incredible, by the way. The Great Jar. Ooh. Or slurry. Is it a helmet that we just got? What is the great jar? It is. It's a helmet. It has less poise. Increase the power of thrown pots of all sizes. Huh. It has more actual protections than what ours is, but it doesn't have enough poise. We're going for that poise build. Our dexterity poise build. It's weird. So yeah, that's the big pot that we saw earlier. That's cool. We could have totally missed that if we decided just to go to the boss. Secret. Bridge ahead. That sounds like a load of shit. Up ahead. Hmm. Nice. All right, let's go fight this boss, whatever this boss is going to be. It would kind of make sense if it was a creator of, like, the Jar people.
and it'll be kind of neat. I don't know if that's what it's gonna be. State of America. Good thing. Um, I kind of want to use one of these. What's that little buff that we have? Or debuff? It has like an X on it. Yeah, I don't know. Any summoning? Yep. Demi Human Swordmaster Arms. Okay. I'm assuming you're the master that creates the jar people. Right? You are, aren't you? You're the jar person. You're a little bastard. Hey, you got freaking shit on, guy. Demi human master swordsman Yosh. Or Yosh. Um. I want to read your description. There you are. So, Anz, a master swordsman who devoted himself to the Starline Sword, realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars, and imprisoned himself in order to forestall it. However, Yosh, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent an entire and spent entire his life at his side in defiance of his self-imposed seclusion. I don't know if it's good. Um, probably not, considering we just beat the ever-living shit out of him. Hey, he worked too bad. I think those buffs that we found earlier, that buffs, like, us in general, are kind of crazy. It kind of makes it too easy now. In a way. I want to go back to the site of Grace, though, so we can do a level up. We have enough for a level up. Because there was a Sight of Grace here, right? If I remember right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do Vigor, I guess. Nice. I probably would wear that new helmet though that jar helmet if like the poise was higher and then we would have to focus on getting like our endurance up or something all right so we're back out and about in this land exploring as we were we have yet to go in this actual lake it kind of looks like there's a dragon ahead yeah i was just gonna say a dragon <laughs> right. That's funny. What's this? Oh, yeah. Serpent Crest Shield. Nice. Is that good? Got a better guard boost. Is it lighter? Uh, it gives me the, like heavier load though we have a medium load yeah we do it's worse for magic and it's got a better guard boost by five but it does give me a heavy load which i don't like that sucks. I guess we keep with what we got. Good sword ahead. So that thing was pointing this way, and this is exactly where that painting was. So do we go that way, or is it the actual object of the shield that we found, which was the reward for going to that painting? I think it might be the latter option. Even though the little ghost man was pointing up there, just like how the painting was. Now, I haven't fought one of these dragon things in so long. I'm kind of worried. 
course the track said it's a dragon though. Okay, let's fight him. Unless he's not a boss, then who cares, right? Oh my gosh, the Ghostwing Dragon has a billion health. Didn't realize we could summon you. We're gonna. Those ghost flames look so cool. Reach is insane. I think our minute here is dead. I don't know why. Maybe we went out of like the boss zone where it can be. Or maybe, um, the Mimitir just took that much damage. I missed everything, like a goober. Can't be good.
as we don't get greedy, we should be fine. What's it doing? I was gonna explode. Okay. Imagine doing this fight without torrents. We're getting there. Ouch. Leave Torrent alone. more concerned about Torrent than myself. In fact, I'll heal one more time to heal Torrent. Come hit there. Explode. There's a lot of damage. Those white arcs are crazy. Got him. It's tough. And we got a dragon heart and a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Nice. That was fun, I like that fight. Gonna know I can still fight dragons on Torrent relatively well. Good, well that area is done. Is there anything else? I'm, that weren't too bad. I kinda thought it was gonna be worse. Than it actually was. Really see much of anything else around, however. It's really foggy.
Let's go back to the site of grace to go um, heal ourselves and get some more site of graces. Not site of graces. Um, flasks of crimson tears because that rolls off the tongue really well, obviously. Can't level up with what we currently have, which is fine, I suppose. I haven't really thought of anything to make this better. That I want. Yeah, I don't really care. We went down that direction already, so we can go to the Great Bridge and go this way. And in turn, if we do that, we can actually go explore south, where I would prefer to go explore rather than go to where we're supposed to go. Because clearly we are meant to be going that other way considering the Sights of Graces is clearly pointing towards this. Right? I mean, yeah, that's true actually because it's pointing towards this, not really pointing towards this where we think we're supposed to go. So, I don't know. There's also a, another map tile we can find there. I've yet to find a map tile down here, unfortunately, but I want to find one. I'm not fighting those pyres. Those pyres are freaking insane. I can't even get close to the damn thing. Especially not right now. Alec Great Bridge. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything as I'm looking over the horizon. I don't think I am. Let's move on. Yeah, that's nice. Somebody's a freaking jerk. Jerk. Can I use it? No. Well, at least it's not going to be in use anymore. Son of a bitch. Why are you the tankiest motherfucker I've ever seen? Is it because of these buffs? Tanker than actual bosses? Okay, 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 I get the picture, I get the picture. You guys are a bunch of freakazoids. Let's go back this way. I want to go that way, though. I'm trying to see if they're trying to follow me or not. I'm sure they want to. Yeah, because I want to go with this path. Huh, they give, it gives them like a free hit. They kind of look like cushions from Berserk. You ever see Berserk? They kind of look like cushions. It's pretty cool.
Fire Spark perfume bottle. Eh, not big on the perfume stuff in this game. Let there be rolling. And I'm rolling, 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 rolling. I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. It also, like this area, kind of reminds me of like the band of the hawk tents. A lot of Berserk references in this game. In this series. In like all of Miyazaki's work. Really. So yeah, we can go that way, but there's a drop. An initial drop that we would take. Damn, that's pretty cool. There's so much to explore. It's insane. Hey, I'm getting distracted. I want to go this way. Now, do I want to go take the upward path, or do I want to take the lower path? I don't know if it matters. Let's take the lower path this time. Don't be yelling, dog. Oh my goodness. They're fighting something down there. Now this is still technically part of the lower path, even though there's like a drop. I just want to see what there is. So you guys got any tips and tricks on how to deal with that thing out there? Because I don't. I have no idea. Any hidden caves in here? The spread crossbow. Cool. Smithing stones. Find so many of them. And we don't need them. We really don't. You could argue that we do, but... Is that supposed to be a cave entrance? Or is it just like a dark area? It's a dark area. So, there is a path that goes down even further where we can go this way. I guess we go this way. How tough is this thing that you guys are fighting? I guess I'll help him out.
Wow, I can't believe that thing can take them on alone. It's kind of insane. Wow, he's beating the shit out of that. Those guys can fucking fight, man. And that's kind of worrying. Try something. Yeah, try anything. Like, one of those guys can take on two or three of them alone, which is kind of insane. Man. Like, I'm not gonna help the big fat guys out. I think the fat guys, it might be a little easier to deal with, even though they're so huge. Look at that. I just hear so much stamina breaking right now. So what do we have over here? Some kind of path. Let's go in. Ruined forge lava intake. Okay. Two ten. Do we have enough to level? We need 215. Um, I almost want to up my endurance now because of that shield. But I kind of want... Can I put it on? Without becoming fat? No, not yet. I'll have to work towards that, I think. It's gonna be a few levels, at least. And then I'm gonna have to transfer this Ash of War onto this one. Yep. That's fine. All right, what do we got going on in here? Tell me your story. By grace, if e'er I see another rock, I shall find it. Of this, I have no doubt. The altar of the forge cannot be far. Oh my goodness. Be wary of fire? Really? What gave that illusion? The literal lava pit down below me? Hit them where they're weakest. What the hell? These are... That's by the devs. Their butthole? That looks like a weak spot. Whoa, those golem people look crazy! Let's hit them in the butthole. Ow! My weapon's a strike weapon. I should do decent damage to them. Damn. 
that the way he holds back that swing. Smithing stones. They're made out of smithing stones. Jeez. Pathetic sort of head. Wow. These guys are kind of crazy. Try fingers butthole. No precious item ahead. Offer Elden Ring. Yeah. That's not the truth. Very Lord of the Rings reference. Be wary of up. Be wary of down. Be wary of going all around. Goopy. I gotta, like, keep an eye on the ceiling now. Kind of sucks. Let there be a rat. I don't see any rats. Wow. This game knows how to set the mood, you know? A lever. That's what we're looking for. I can go this way. What about down here? Thought something hurt me. Gas stone. Visions of friend. Hmm, cookbook. Nice. Fire, friend. Hey, I'm just constantly looking up now. It's not good. Yeah, precious items, my ass. Those guys are kind of tough. Admittingly. Is there another one up ahead? I should probably deal with him. Jump attack is not worth doing on them. I'm trying to break that. There we go. I'm trying to break their um, stamina. They're tanky, that's for sure. My goodness. At least these guys are easy to kill, but that might be because of the type of weapon that my weapon is. Like, imagine if I had, like, a thrusting weapon or a slashing weapon, you would have such a harder time down here. Just based off of the look of everything, you know? Nice. Didn't even get hurt that time.
Man, there's smithing stones up the wazoo in this place. You're active. Hey, buddy. Guys look so freaking cool, by the way. I love their look. forever sleep. The Smith Script Dagger. I mean, that's a dex weapon. What does it do? Here it is. It's a weird scaling things that's got going on. Um... Reduced mass enhances the effect of the smithing arts, allowing this weapon to function as a throwing dagger for all attacks. Oh, that's kind of cool. Once thrown, the dagger instantly reappears in the wielder's hand. Oh, that's actually super neat. You can just have a throwing dagger. Oh, but you also need faith to so wield it properly. That's super cool. That's a nice little weapon that you can do. I like that. Something incredible ahead. Yeah, death. I like that weapon. I kind of want to try that out, but it's definitely not worth using. Not at its current state. So, if we go in here, we're going to die. Let me just see. Do you die instantly going in? Pretty much. I guess straight have fucking touched it and died. Walk in. Yeah, it's very fast. It's like three seconds. Okay. Good to know. So we have to go to a different route to find out where and how we deal with the situation there. That's fine. Wasn't there mention of a lever? I think it's this way. I'm curious. I want to see how... Yeah, okay. That's what I was figuring. I mean, you do do less damage with a different type of weapon. <laughs> Offer smithing stone ones. Another smithing stone. Shit, can I go back? Uh, looks like I'm kind of committed now. Don't take damage. Good. This place is pretty cool, though. I like it. I don't know if I like it as much as, like, the... the living jar place, but this place is also cool. It's like the total opposite. 
And I like that. Because usually these places consist of a lot of like the same kind of architecture, same kind of enemies, but so far it's been very different each time for these kinds of side areas. Well, here's a lever. Is that gonna lower the lava? Watch it raises it and kills me. Oh! Okay. That's cool. I like that. That's really neat. I guess that tracks. Yeah, these guys should not matter. Okay. You know, I was just looking over here because, like, Somebody went that way for some reason. I don't know why. I wonder if we can find the boss here. Is there no boss here? Examine altar. We got an ancient dragon smithing stone for some reason. And we have an anvil hammer. And that's all that was here. Okay. I want to read what the hammer's all about. Obviously, it scales with strength and faith, weirdly enough. It is a tremendous hammer that incorporates as its head the red-hot anvil of the forge. Oh, yeah, it is an anvil, isn't it? That's cool. It is said the anvil shape is inspired by that of an altar, and that long ago. It was indeed used as such in rite and ritual. And then, as a unique art, you slam the red hot anvil into the ground, sending up countless spears as it is pulled out. The spears disappear instantly. That's so weird. But yeah, that's the extent of this place, because we can return to the entrance. I was kind of hoping there would have been a boss. You know? But nope. That's a big fat nope. I kind of wish they would check mark once you like complete one of these, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, we've already helped them out before. I'm not even gonna be bothering this time. Let's go this way this time and see what we can find for me. I'll kill you because I'm killed you yet. Why not? Got him. Bam. And... Oops, sorry. Hmm. I wonder. Nope. Well, it'll help me avoid those two, I guess going the way I went. Not that it matters. You know, we're coming up in a whole new land, kinda. A goopy land of goopy. Festive grease. That's freaking disgusting. Well, that's a dead end. So, unless we get to go there at some point, we might. That'd be kind of cool. What is that up ahead? Right where my helmet is pointing? I'm not sure. Those Miranda flowers? I think so.
Toxic Mosling. It's a good thing we didn't go in there. We probably would have got toxic. I don't know why I decided to kill him out of all of them. That poor boar. And now I'm exploring new realms. Realms that I've never been. And it keeps going down. And what about this direction? Anything? No. What the hell are you guys? Oh, it's them? Was it? How many met you guys before in the other place? Or you guys look really similar to the guys that I'm thinking of. No, I'm pretty sure we met. Kinda crazy though. I don't know why there's a crab down there. Man. I'm getting so sidetracked. And it's such a good thing. <laughs> Because it means there's so much to explore. Like, there's a cave in there I want to go to. Like, I don't know what that cave is all about, but I'm going to get there. Good fight that crab. Not going to happen. Deep purple lily. What the hell is that even? It's a crafting item? I think so. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a crafting item. This place is dark. Dark, dark. Man, we're just like in the underside now. Don't know where we are, but we're here. And there's a side of grace nearby. Hello. I'm pretty glad that we're down here. I wanted to explore like the underside, if there was an underside, like in the chasm. Alec River Cave. Huh. Yeah, because I wanted to explore all this huge abyss, if this abyss was explorable, but it seems to be, in a way... Like, yeah, because that's where we are. We're entering the area where I wanted to be in. Shit, which way we go, though? North? South? It's gonna lead to one of those areas. Maybe I should just go back and then come back here at a later point in time. Or go back to here and then go up and around. I don't know. There's just so much. And I, and I don't want to miss it. Ugh, it sucks. Um, let's go south. That's what I've decided. I'm overwhelmed, can you tell? Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can jump on those rocks. Thankfully we can. Ooh. It's getting dicey. Because this is not a good platforming game. Relax. Hey, cookbook. Nice. Sorta. Oh, look, we can get down there too. 
Kind of crazy. Okay, let's go down. Anything behind the waterfall? Nope. A lot of fucking flies, though. My goodness. Oh, you can get down there, too? That's insane. There's so much to explore. Try here? I don't know what that means. Like jumping there? You're freaking batshit insane. That's not gonna happen. That one's not real. That one is. Obviously this one is. Fuck. Okay. That works. Behold, dog. Praise the pawn. The prawn. And I'm just going down this route, too, but, like, there was a whole other area that we could check out with, like, the crab and stuff, too, that I just didn't see and go into. Like, I don't know. There's just so much to it that it's so overwhelming. There's another site of grace up ahead? What the hell's down here? I think you can go back down that way. Let's take a look at this direction first. I don't want to, I don't want to miss anything. Because there could be items that are important. Or maybe there's nothing important down here. I don't know. What the shit? Is that a lobster? Dog? That's a big fucking lobster, dude. Oh, shit. Relax. I'm just gonna break you open and eat ya. Delicious. If that wasn't exactly worth it, anything behind here? No. Because the video games have taught me anything. Always check behind waterfalls. Even when you think there's going to be nothing there. What the hell? Guess we'll talk to that guy. See what's up with him. How many souls we got? 61k. And we haven't found any more of these ashes and blessings yet, either. Okay. Well, with that, I think this is probably a good spot for us to end today's episode of Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Trees DLC. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure you guys have a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of today's episode, of course. And if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so, 
feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube, and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest video. So on the next episode, we're going to talk to that thing. That might be one of those painting things that gives us an item. I'm not sure. But once we do that, um, wow, we're like so under this thing. That's crazy. We're probably going to go this way, or I might actually go track back and go to where this keep is. Just because, like, it kind of seems like the thing to do. Or I might go up here and explore. Because, like, there's so much to explore in this area. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. What to go. What's good to do right now. We'll find out, though. Next time. And I'll see you then.